Oh. Yeah, there's reorientation. I see reorientation. Oh, and the jettison. Four bay cover immediately comes off. Uh, then the drugs come out. Looks like the CM had a little bit of a rough ride there, but got stable. And then uh, those are the three mains, looks like. And you can see how tightly reefed they are to begin with. And then they'll disreef to about 10%. There they go. And then they go to full open. Three good shoots. It looked like it just uh, floated down very slowly uh, on those shoots. Uh, seemed like we had a, quite a bit of altitude from the abort motor and uh, plenty of time to get the mains out. So it's a good indication for this design that it's properly designed and is going to give you a good probability of a success even in a paddleboard. Yeah, the point of the system on a paddleboard is that the, there's a failure, maybe a fire on the launch pad, and you need to get the crew up and far enough away for the parachutes to have the time to open and bring the crew capsule down safely to the earth. Yeah. Yeah, there's a great shot of it just coming down under chutes. Looks like the CM's in pretty good shape. I wonder if we'll see the landing here. Okay, and there's touchdown. You see this main shoots deflate. Okay, that's that's back of the board. You can see the uh, attitude control motor plumes coming out near the top of the rocket. Impressive. There's the reorientation. Look how quickly it reoriented. Then the jettison, the forward bay cover. That's ex it's exciting video for me. I've seen this in animation so many times. It's just great to watch it and watch it in in real life. Now you mentioned the team's been working on this for many years. Uh, yeah, some four and a half years for some. Yeah, I myself have been working about four and a half years on this. Many people have, um, but we've been in a dead sprint for what seems like about three years to get this. This team is just amazing that we were able to pull off this integrated test with what looks to be a basically a flawless pad of work. Okay, they just, they just let us know that all the telemetry has t stopped on the vehicle. The vehicle turned itself off, basically, at this point. And they told the range to release the radars and uh, the telemetry sites. And so uh, the only thing that's left is optics. They're trying to get optics trained on the vehicle to help the recovery. Copy. TC FTA on mission. Go ahead, FTA. What's your uh, estimate when we can uh, tell Bob's team that they can come in for the playback? I think uh, right at 7.30 there, FDA, we could probably get most of the people uh, released and he can take over. Okay, copy that. And um, Test Director TC, can we release Murr? Yes, we can release Murr. Good show. TC, TIE? Go TIE. Max requested we keep IADS up for a couple more minutes to get some more data off. Okay, roger that. Yeah, we're getting the other crew down in about 15 minutes without workout. Copy. 
and also uh, test direct the TCL mission enabled. Um, I guess Bill's still having some problems pointing at it. Uh, it's, it's obvious it's in the field of view. Yeah, stand by one second there, TC. Okay, well, that uh, is the rest of the video replays we have, but hopefully we'll get some more views of the crew module. Yeah, go ahead, TC. Yeah, land. it's great stuff. Oh, I just Love it. <laughs> well, uh, again, we'll have the post-launch news conference that's scheduled for uh, a little less than 45 minutes from now at the top of the hour, and that will be for media here at the launch site, but uh, media can also dial in. Uh, through the Johnson Space Center, uh, dial in at least uh, at a quarter till uh, the top of the hour to uh, participate in that.